Welcome to the game where we fight for freedom and liberty against the Dirty Reds, otherwise known as the Chinese and North Koreans, which I'm very much looking forward to whooping some Kim Jong Sun ass, which is around this time when he was leader of North Korea, El Glorious leader. He was the first leader of North Korea, if anyone was interested to note. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing the campaign in this Let's Play. There's four of them to choose from. And uh, if you have played any of the previous games, and this game is very similar to the two games that have come before it. It's not a sequel or anything like that. It's just a complete new standalone game. And it is pretty awesome because after all, it's got the Anzacs, which are Australia and New Zealand Army Corps. So unfortunately, you're not really able to play as them uh, in the campaign. There's four different campaigns. Uh, but I think this is the Commonwealth campaign, so we might end up playing as Australia, but that's for another time. Fortunately, though, in uh, this game, they have included cutscenes and all of that stuff uh, in uh, before the campaign, so it's got a bit of a storyline to it, unlike um, Airlands Battle, which didn't have any storyline, but it's more in line with... Well, it's a mix of both games before, because it's got the cutscenes in European Escalation, and uh, yeah... So anyways, we'll have a look at the first campaign, which is the easiest one. We'll play all four, hopefully. Have a wait and see how all of that goes. Uh, but without further ado, let's stop blabbering on and launch the game. So, Busan Pocket. Difficulty easy. Year is 1987. We've got the Americans, the Chinese, South Koreans, and Japanese. Uh, we also have North Koreans as well. But Anyway. When South Korea's military regime, shaken by nationwide democratic demonstrations, redeploys most of its military forces in the streets to crack down on the protest movement, North Korea sees this as the perfect opportunity to launch its long-awaited reunification campaign. Good luck with that to them, I say. They're going to need it. They're going to need a heck of a lot of it. June 10th, 1987. South Korean dictator Chung Do Wan, having reached the end of his official presidential mandate and willing to step down, announces his choice for a successor. This appointment, which oversteps any electoral process, triggers the wrath of the students and the liberals, who were hoping for democratic reforms. June 10th to the 18th, 1987. In a matter of days, over a million protesters take to the streets all over the country. U.S. forces in Korea are ordered to remain on lockdown in their barracks. North Korea does not fail to notice the situation in the South. Agents infiltrate designated circles in order to increase the level of chaos, while military forces are put on alert. June 19, 1987. While police and security forces are about to be overwhelmed, President Chun mobilizes the army in the streets. Hard-pressed and panicked by a hostile crowd, an officer orders his troops to fire. In a matter of minutes, the shooting spreads all over the streets of Seoul. June 19th to the 21st, 1987. The crackdown is brutal, resulting in over a thousand casualties and many more arrests. June 21st, 1987. With U.S. troops still confined to their barracks and the ROK army deployed in the streets, North Korean leader Kim Il-sung decides the time has come for Korea's reunification. June 22, 1987. When the North Korean artillery barrage rolls over the DMZ at dawn, U.S. and ROK units, disorganized by the civil unrest, are taken by complete surprise. June 22 to the 27th, 1987. Within a few hours, the first lines of defense are overwhelmed. Within a few days, the battered U.S. and ROK units are pushed back to a last perimeter around the vital harbor of Busan. All right, let's go ahead and try to keep Busan. Hello there, military general. Major, I am sorry, but I couldn't get through to the general headquarters. All communications with the front are cut off. I'm not going to try to make an Asian or South Korean accent because I'm sure there'll be people saying that that's somehow racist, even though I do not understand how making accents is somehow racist. But anyways, ah, uh, wait, yes, I think I managed reaching an advanced post of the 3rd Infantry Battalion. I'll put you through now. This is Sergeant John, or uh, Sergeant Jun from the 3rd Infantry Regiment. They totally thrashed us. They're coming straight at you. They're not even stopping to take prisoners. At least one armoured and two infantry regiments supported by more artillery than imaginable. 
Our headquarters is just blown up and we only have one line of defense left. Communication breakdown, Major. I will try to get through to our other headquarters and to the US General Headquarters in this region. In the meantime, I'm giving you the reports on enemy troop movements. Roger that. Okie dokes. So, wow, they've definitely uh, crossed the DMC over here. Uh, we need to control these areas before turn 10. So, we need to make a pretty big move, I'd assume. A massive attack to get up to here before turn 10. So, this is clearly very similar to Airlands Battle, the campaign map. And I guess it works the same way. Uh, we also have these political points, which we can use on... Uh, at the moment, only land forces and an air force. Uh, but I'm pretty sure you, in later on campaigns, you can use like tactical bombs and it gets a lot more advanced. But in the meantime, though, uh, we can't actually go ahead and attack. Uh, but what we need to do is we need to hold Busan at all costs and uh, we need to move over um, our units over to where they need to be so we can uh, reinforce our guys. Got a couple of feck few units. These mountains look incredibly weird when you zoomed out. They look like people or something, like, I don't know, dead people formations or something. In the meantime, though, this is Special Aviation Regiment, UDT SEALs Special Forces, are at your disposal to support your ground defense. Very cool. Um, and we've got another plane, the F-86F. Um, I'll send it up over here. Okay. Um, that's it that we have for the turn. If we go, oh, okay, so that's a headquarters. It's just the main menu map. Nothing special there. Um, and we can show the map. All right. All right, wow. So each sector has its own defined map. Okay. okay, so I have not played the beta, if anyone is wondering. I really got this game pretty late, so uh, this is pretty much my first foray into the game. It's a computer's turn, and uh, they're setting up a couple of battles with us. We've got uh, this fight, so let's see where this uh, map is actually. Um, it doesn't say, but... Gyo Chang. Okay. So, I don't really know where we are. We're somewhere between Gyo Chang, Yongdiek, Ui Chang, and Busan. So, there you go. To anyone that knows their South Korean geography. In the meantime, though, uh, the total value of our forces is 7,630 points. Theirs is 2,000... 900 points and um, I have a couple more points from cohesion and all but we pretty much start off with the same command points they're gonna be off a little bit better because they got a hundred more uh, but we've got these uh, command points which we're gonna start off with anyway uh, so let's go launch the battle without further ado we don't want to blabber on too much but we want to get straight into the action after all all right so let's st start our attack I do like command vehicles, which are um, planes. Let's see, where is this region? Okay. Let's just park him out over there. All right, so I'm gonna capture these front three. Basan is pretty pointless to capture because it doesn't give you any points back. And uh, too bad for North Korea, Gyo Chang doesn't give them any points either. So they're stuck with the 1250, <laughs> which definitely sucks for them. All right. Uh, so, let's see what we'll go for. Uh, probably these guys. Uh, what are these guys good at? They're just normal infantry, really. Okay. I'll put them in over here. Oh, right. There we go. You guys go over there. Right, that's a uh, resupplying unit, so we don't want that. I think I'll just go for this guy again. Um... And we'll place him over there in the forest so he is well fortified. Now for the actual action. Let's go get some infantry because we want to capture this city. I'm pretty sure of this town. It's going to be pretty important. So let's see. Let's get... No. Let's get three of them there. Let's get another three up over here we'll probably move them to this town then we'll go get let's see what support vehicles we have we've only got this artillery which is quite in the range on it 4550 oh no sorry 28,000 meters 
and that's the dispersion of the actual rockets. Wow, that's quite large. Um, yeah, right, let's go get a couple of these tanks. Let's get them in, in uh, groups of two. Um, groups of two here as well. And I'll place these another, or oh, no, I'll get a recon vehicle. Oh, we don't have recon vehicles. Okay, place these guys up over here as well. Get another recon units or two. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, these guys come in helicopters? Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, you do. You have uh, vehicles, so you come up over here and then we'll move on from there so it'll be good uh in the meantime though do i want any other vehicles an anti-tank or anything i don't have much of a range 1050 uh, but if i place them close here we go this should do all right let's go start this battle then shall we i think we're good i'm pretty happy with the way we are maybe just some anti-air units some more of them okay let's launch this battle enough of the fun times all right you guys move fast up over here move fast you guys need to probably hang back a bit here move fast all right you guys unload these special forces so we can actually see things that are happening you guys move up over here. Get out. Oh, no, no. Get out. Oh, can you not unload? Let's get these guys to unload as well. Geez, so many tanks. So many bloody tanks. I'm not sure if they've even lost a unit or two. <laughs> Here we go. I don't have much left. We're definitely going to win this. Like, I'm not worried in that sense. Here we go. Oh, good. They got a command vehicle right over here. Beautiful. All right, we got these guys well and truly cornered. As long as we can hold out over here. Here we go. Oh, oh, planes, planes, planes. We're going to need some anti... Thankfully, it was just napalm, though. That was pretty scary. You guys are going to have to move out through this napalm, though. Alright. This game looks really, really stunning from up close, which is a shame because I play it out from up here so I can actually see what I'm doing, but I'll try to uh, move down for you guys so you guys can see what you're doing or what's happening. I'm not sure why they're moving down here, but anyway. We only need 300 points. To, oh, here we go. Please get this man vehicle. Uh, our team owns 80% of the points that we need to win. We've won. They only, we only need 114 points left uh, to shoot down. Uh oh. Thankfully, it's just more napalm. Nothing too special. We only need 89 points left. No, okay. We've definitely won this. So, we need to get their points to zero, is uh, clearly what we need to do in this game mode. I'm pretty sure this is the only game mode that is in the campaign, like the destruction mode. Oh. They still haven't changed it. Like, you can tell when you're going to lose your unit before the rocket actually hits. Just before. We're 
gonna lose actually very soon actually here we go we might lose it now oh no we've already won actually there we go total victory that took us only three minutes uh, so we would have completely demoralized them uh, combat records uh, so let's see we've got 870 points worth of no we would have gotten a lot more points worth of kills uh, but we did very very well for ourselves that's to say the least um, let's see what else happened so our force has got a total victory because our enemy's destruction points 445 are below 30% of our sustainable losses 2289 the enemy forces are routed because they endured a long defeat for three minutes and uh, however long it took three minutes and 43 seconds uh, as a consequence our forces are getting a gain of morale two points for total victory and a loss of one so the more you battle i guess uh the more morale points you lose but if you get total victories then it doesn't really matter and the enemy forces are getting a loss of two morale points and another loss of one so this is uh, very very beneficial for us and uh Daegu is ours so over here now oh god this is going to be another complete and utter annihilation let's go ahead and uh, start this fight as well um this is going to be very good well like, this is interesting basan now has reinforcement points and it gives us points as well too whereas Daegu doesn't okay we're just going to be going through Gyo Chang and Delta anyway so although if the North Koreans were smart they'd cut off our resupply routes through to Yongjang but something tells me that they're not that smart but this campaign looks like it'll be a heck of a lot of fun uh, also there is ocean over here a river so uh, we can use some amphibious units and all we don't really have all that many uh, vehicles to choose from here which is still okay with me um, all right I'm just gonna hold out Delta and Go Chang maybe Basan as well I shall move this up over here if we need it uh, what do you got oh, okay you're a command vehicle cool cool we can also speak th there's a fair few new things which we'll go through actually we should go through them in the first episode though shouldn't we uh, but let's go get a tank here or a leg um okay we can only no we can get two sorry um i'm not sure oh, no i don't want you i want you we can't get any more yeah i can no, I can't. Okay. I can get you, though. Oh, is that all the command vehicles I can get? That is quite the shame. I have to move these guys up here, then. Alright. Damn. Okay. I'm not able to get any more. Which is alright with me. Let's go ahead and get some... Do I need infantry? Not really. I just need to cut these bridges off. And they're not really next to towns or anything. If only I had recon vehicles though. And I do not have any recon vehicles, so. There's that. Okay. Let's see what vehicles we've got. Some uh, heat guided missiles. Oh, they're in groups of four. Place the FOB like right over here. The enemy wouldn't be able to capture it and we'll be able to reinforce all these guys. Um, I'm just hoping the enemy doesn't come through that way. I don't think they would. Uh, it just sucks I don't have any recon units because that would be a big help so we could spot the enemy out and our rockets would be uh, and weaponry would be much more accurate but alas that's not the case uh, place these guys here and 
one guy there. Okay. Um, I'm happy with the way things are. Okay. Daegu and Basan are going to have to uh, be where they are. Oh, let's see. Maybe a bit more tanks. You can never really have enough tanks. Right. And you know what? Let's get a couple more vehicles. There we go. I'm happy with that. Alright, we're picking up the points already. A fair few of them. They are too. Nothing too major though. Um, you guys need to unload, don't you? There you go. This is going to be another mighty quick battle. Uh, I might get some cargo trucks. I'll just get one, sorry. Right over here to help this guy out. Okay. This battle is going to last a couple of seconds. Have a look at these rockets. Oh, beautiful hit. We own 80% of the destruction points needed. Those North Koreans are mighty weak. I don't think they've destroyed one or two of our vehicles. See, our guys have to come up through this way. So if I was playing like multiplayer, well, the really common tactic is just to uh, cut off uh, reinforcement supply lines with infantry, like in uh, forests, like say placing uh, infantry around there, but we've already won. That was a pretty much a guaranteed win. A minute and 23 seconds, yes. The um, easy campaign's a little bit too easy, even though I, like, I'm not really that good at this game. Like I do enjoy it. This is the only game that I really enjoy playing multiplayer on though. And that says a lot about how good the multiplayer is though. Uh, but with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, press OK, because that was another epic win. Um, Major, I managed contacting the American headquarters. We should be getting information on their objectives shortly. In the meantime, here is the situation. The sun must not fall before American reinforcements arrive, which is in three days' time according to their promise. We are holding the three peripheral excuse me, sectors and the enemy is surrounding us. We have few airborne and ground reinforcements, but they should, be, they should enable us to make up for our losses, which will be inevitable. Good luck, Major. Okay. So I guess this campaign plays as a bit more of a um, tutorial, even though there are tutorials uh, separately. But I'm pretty sure this like, is a campaign type tutorial. Um, so these areas are still contested. Uh, Ul Chang and Yong Yek. I think we need to hold out for and wait for the Americans to come back before we can make a massive move. I wonder what these alert symbols mean. Guess we'll have to find out a little bit later on. But with that being said, that's going to be it for... Oh, here we go. We've got planned attacks. Okay. Um, no, no, no. Let's um, cancel that. I want to get back over here. That's going to be it for the very first episode. Uh, if you guys enjoyed that, there'll be a lot more definitely coming in the next couple of days. I'll uh, be uh, hopefully spare me out the videos first off and then we'll slow it down. But if you are enjoying this, then make sure you give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, there'll be a lot more of this coming out very shortly.